Hey everyone, Ronnie Chavez here, and today I'm out in this beautiful nature to teach you a safety vault. Now, this is one of the first basic vaults you can learn when doing parkour to overcome basic obstacles, and I'm going to teach you how you can learn it safely and how you can even do more advanced safety vaults. So, to learn the safety vault first, you need to find an obstacle. Now, it can be anything from a handrail, a cement ledge, or out here, I have this random vehicle blockade out in the middle of nowhere. So, that's what I'm going to be teaching you on. So when doing the safety vault, the things to keep in mind is that there's three basic things that are happening with your body. The first one is that you're going to be placing your hand on the obstacle. The second one is that you're going to be placing your foot on the obstacle. Now these are two opposite arms and foot, so if it's my left foot, then I want to use my right hand, or if I'm using my left hand, I want to use my right foot because what's going to happen is my other leg is going to go through the center. So you just want to create a balance however you're doing this move. So I'm going to place my left foot, my right hand, and basically from here all you're going to do is jump slightly and bring your right foot through. Just like so. You can just practice that motion to get the feel of it. If you need a little bit more security, you can use two hands to just kind of help you get balance. As you get comfortable with this move, you can start speeding it up a little bit, where you can kick your leg through a little bit faster. Remember to learn this move both ways, so once you get comfortable on one side, start practicing on the other side. You can add different variations by either leading with your hand and then placing your foot, or you can place your foot first and place your hand. You can even use this vault to push away and jump from or to add a flash and spin. Now once you have the basic safety vault down, you can actually start practicing with distance to see how far away you can do it. You can just, there's so many different variations with this specific vault. It's kind of the same with any vault, but this one I feel, because there's so many body parts involved, you can really come up with some creative ways to incorporate it into your parkour runs. Now as you get better at the safety vault and you start adding more distance and jump into the safety vault, what I like to do personally is I like to usually lead with my foot because that allows me to absorb some of the impact going into the vault and then I'm simply placing my hand down for control. So that's pretty much it. That's your basic safety vault. Obviously there's so many variations you can do. It's perfect for beginners, first learning parkour, and it's great for people who are more advanced and want to incorporate it into big jumps or lines or whatever you want to do. It's up to you to explore your own creativity and what you enjoy doing and to just have fun with it. Remember to train safe and thanks for watching.